Hey everybody, how you doing? Here we are with another beer, and Buzz Aldrin was the first man to pee on the moon. The first person to pee on the moon. Yeah. Okay, here we go with, wait, Allison. Tyramisu. Try Tyramisu? I'm probably slaughtering this thing. Stout. Uh, eh. 8.0% alcohol and by Ellison Brewing, Ellison Brewer, Brewery, but uh, get it ellisonbrewing.com, East Lansing, Michigan. And there's another El Ellison Brewing, it's, it's a E L Y S O N or something like that. And I do believe I've had a few of those beers. This is the first time I've had their beer, and the can, it's like just a plain old can and it's got a sticker on there it's like the it's like a real fill sticker the like a satin finish sticker I don't know yeah 1992 there was it was a shipping container accident and 200 200,000 rubber duckies or something like that thousands and thousands of rubber duckies spent 20 years and then uh, the oceanic admin no oh, I don't know the ocean they used them to study the ocean currents that's pretty cool. Some of them are probably still floating around out in that dang Pacific Ocean. Specific Pacific Ocean. It's dark. All right, it has a, has a kind of like a Guinness head, like a the brown, dark, not dark brown, like a turd brown. That smells <sighs> divine. It smells like a a stout. But it, I don't know. No, yeah, we're well, gonna give it a try anyway. Pretty good. It's thick. For being eight percent, you're down and right. I think they, I think they take the water out of it and dehydrate it, and they make it, and it makes it higher alcohol. That's how they get it. Uh, if that ain't true, I heard it on the internet, so it must be eight percent. I'm not drinking it every day. I bought a four pack of this. We we're going over my mother in law's, and I was like, let's stop and get some beer. So we got some beer, and there was a four pack of this, and I was like, it was $11.99, and it's a drink fresh and from the can. So I, I stopped and I, we got it, and I kept it in the car. So I said, I'm going to do a beer review on it. And yeah, so it was 8%. I ain't going to drink this every day, but it's, it's damn good. You could take this to a party and say, hey, Everybody try it. It's really dark. It almost looks like a Coke. It has bubbles on all over. This is weird. You can you can mistake in this for someone's soda pop and pour it and switch them out. And they might be a recovering alcoholic and you gave it to them and it, they, they just fell off the wagon. Yeah, they did that on Seinfeld. Remember that episode? <coughs> Seinfeld is one of my favorite, favorite TV shows. Now I'm watching... Um, you gotta check this out. The Kindness Diaries on Netflix. He has two seasons. The first season he takes a, a motorcycle and travels around the world just relying on the kindness of people to give them some gas, to give them some, something to eat, and a place to stay. And he asks people and they, they help him out and they give them to him and it just all on the kindness of his heart. Then he helps them, some of these people that touch him so deeply that he helps them out. And it's, it's tear jerking. You'll ball your eyes out. I do. Um, what I get this? Uh, the flavor is very good. I like this. I will give this a B. Very good. Um, I wouldn't. Wait a minute. What is a tr I, I don't know what that is. What a tramisio? Is it like a? Is that a pastry? I don't know. But. But I wouldn't drink it every day, like I said, multiple times already. Um, but it, it, I'll give it a B for flavor, but not drinking it every day. I'll give it a C for that, you know, because you're going to get smashed at 8%. You hammer a couple of these down already after a hard day's work or mowing the lawn. You're going to feel it. Otters, sleep holding hands. Uh, how about that? I don't even do that. She'd give me one of these. She? 
touch me. Oh, it is a very good beer though. But did I just taste banana in that? No, can't be. Oh my God, my nose itching like crazy. I just gave my dog a haircut. There's fur everywhere. Or I gave her a fur cut. There's fur everywhere. So I, have to, I, I try to clean it up. I got fur on my shirt, on my pants. I, and she, uh, I figured I'd do it on the kitchen floor, you know, and then it would be easy just to sweep up. No, it's just, it just, it floats all over the place. God, I had her, and she's trying to stand, and, and her feet are going like this and sliding, and she can't get no traction. I put her on a dish towel, and that wasn't good. That sucker was like a magnet for fur. Jeez, 20% of coffee mugs contain fecal matter. Man, so that means 70, no. So that means 80% of coffee mugs contain coffee. The rest are just drinking crap. Oh, that's nasty. I do enjoy this beer. Yes, I do enjoy this beer. And for the last one, I'm gonna tell you right now, you listen, listen to me. There's right now, there's over, well, there's probably over now, 200 dead bodies on Mount Everest. And when they die, they just leave them there. They don't, they don't bring them back down. Man, that's a lot of pollution. Gosh, I'm gonna clean that up. Cheers.